Good Monday morning, everyone. We had a fantastic weekend. Thanks so much for all of the great comments on Friday's video where I was teaching Eric how to uh, carve that sign. And this next, uh, actually it won't be this next Friday. It'll be the Friday after that when we get back to it because this next Saturday is the LTS. It's the 24th, I think. Sometimes. No. Uh, anyway, uh, this coming Saturday is the LTS. We'll talk about it more on Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to do success story, by the way. Vicky's feeling better, and we'll uh, get some success stories in on Wednesday. So, again, I, I'm glad you guys, you, everybody seemed to kind of like that. Well, almost everybody. I did get Those one. Those that don't, don't yeah, matter. Yeah, right. We did get one dislike, I think, or or maybe more. I don't know. I try not to pay attention. All right, today. So, here's what we're going to do today. Here's that raccoon sign. Um, I don't I don't know whether you guys have seen this yet or not a more, a more. Yeah. Um, I've been posting uh, kind of the progression of this on our Instagram page and um, can you uh, hold up the picture yeah here's the uh, the picture of the raccoon that I put on there and I transferred it on there with the, the regular transfer process um, I was really happy with the way it came out uh, this is two inch redwood and it's about oh, 14 inches by 18 inches, something like that, laminated. And then I did the rustic edge on it. Really happy the way it came out. But now I got to do some gray on that, uh, on the raccoon. And that's what today is going to be about. And then at the end of this, you're going to see uh, I got a really great shout out last week on uh, from Greg over at Ballistic Barbecue. And I'll put a link to. Uh, uh, to his video in the description below uh, but Greg gave me a great shout out and I really appreciate that uh, I made a nice sign for him and I did a little video on it that I'm gonna tack on to the end of this video so you guys can see how I went about that it came out really nice I was really happy with that one as He's well got some pretty awesome barbecue videos oh man oh, oh, yeah if you're into barbecue you gotta check out Greg's channel wow amazing stuff makes me hungry every time all right, so let's get into this. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint the surface, but I'm going to use a paint that I've never used before. Somebody turned me on to this. Let me see. Gosh, please God, don't, don't let me spill it. this on the sign. It's called One Shot. I'm sorry. No, nope, you're good. It's called One Shot. This stuff is made for automotive, and it's made for, like, uh, pinstriping and lettering on motorcycles and uh, different things going on metal but it works really great for wood and I tried it for the first time last night on a, another collaboration I'm doing which you guys will see down the road but um, but I really like the way it uh, the way it flows the way it works um, and I'm going to show you right now how uh, it's oil based so you got to clean up with paint thinner that's what I'm using to clean up with but this stuff just goes on so nice Now I'm silent because I'm afraid to talk and paint at the same time. But it just flows on really nice. And it uh, it covers really well. Just one coat. I've had actually, I think, three or four people tell me about it. All right. I feel like my hand is shaking, but... You're on the spot. Yeah. Well, you guys know how I feel about anybody, anybody that's been watching for a while knows that I really don't like this process. Painting? Painting, yes. Yeah, but this stuff you said makes it nice. It, it does make it much, much better. It's almost to the point where I might at some point someday like it, but it ain't there yet. But um, <laughs> it's just, this is just, but I understand that... Um, you know, a lot of you guys do like this stuff, and you like the way it looks. And I, you know, I can't, uh, I can't discount the way your signs look with color on them. So, gorgeous. Um, yeah, this stuff just, it goes on. It flows really nice. No real brush marks, um, and uh, it really adds a lot. Now, I would never, just for those of you that, in case you don't know. I would would always paint surfaces that are outset. This is outset, this is inset. I would never paint inset. Well, I, I say never, but I have in the past.
but that's why I will never do it again. <laughs> because painting inset stuff is just, oh, it's really a bear. And those of you that have done it, um, you know what I'm talking about. Not a raccoon, it's a bear. Anyway, um, I it but painting a surface like this and this stuff, it just flows so nice. It reminds me of the old days when Dad used to do a lot of painting on signs. He got to where he didn't. But back in the old days, Flecto, who made Varathane at the time, they actually made colored Varathane. And it was thick and heavy, and it kind of reminded me of this stuff, the way this stuff really flows on nice. But this stuff is not cheap. It tends to be a little bit pricey. I think this, we bought this on Amazon, and... You paid about fifteen dollars for this yeah, little can. Fourteen, fifteen. But it goes a long ways, because you only have to use one it coat. It doesn't like dry like in spots where some of the other paints do. Right. While you're trying to work with it. Right. It flows on well and it covers really, really well, and it doesn't show brush marks. So it covers in then just like one coat, right? Yeah, just one coat. I did a sign, like I say, I did a collaboration last night that I really want to show you guys. But I can't until I ship it off and get a shout out from him. But it's a a big channel. But um, you guys will see it. But uh, it it just came out great. I just I love the way this stuff goes on. So I have a, a series of different brushes that I use. Um, uh, this is a set of brushes that I got I think at uh, at Michaels. Uh, no, it wasn't at Michaels. It was. Uh, Joanne uh, fabrics and um, and it looks really they work really good so depending on on what I'm painting all different sizes huh? all different sizes yeah sizes and shapes now I'm going to show you a mistake that I just made that you guys haven't seen yet but I'm going to show you so you can see <laughs> I hear Eric out there He's talking to somebody. But let me turn this around real quick and show you. I kind of got over the edge. I was talking, and I kind of got over the edge a little Where's bit. That? There he is. Right there, I kind of got over the edge. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to try and clean that up. I'm going to leave that the way it is, and then I have some really fine tip uh, markers that I can go and I can just touch that so I won't even try and clean that up I'll just um, clean that up with a with a marker and actually gosh I don't think I've got them in my drawer here but I've showed them before I wish I, I wish I had brought them out but I didn't I think we'll make another scene and I'll show you what I'm talking about um, but if you're painting something like this and you get over that line and you need to uh, kind of touch that up. Now, chances are nobody would notice that. I notice it because I've got my cheaters on and I just, I want everything to be exactly right. So I will go back and touch that up, but I'll wait until it dries. You can see it's kind of over the edge. You can see right. it now that you've set it. Yeah. It kind of went, uh, went over the edge a little bit. That is such a cute raccoon. Yeah, the customer actually found this raccoon online and sent it to me. Um, and then I printed it out and did the transfer process and and uh, and took it from there kind of thing. I might have to have a sign with a raccoon on it. Really? <laughs> I mean, well, your your grandson's a sign carver now, so... So is my son. I might have to have one right. do it. Yeah, there you go. Either that or maybe somebody has suggested I teach you how to do it. But I don't know. Well, the you know, only time I've actually picked up a router, I think, is to move it from one table to the next. So, well, that doesn't mean, you know, we can all learn. I don't stuff. like sawdust in my bra. Oh, okay. <laughs> Me either. That's why I don't wear one when when I carve. I go free. <laughs> free the chichis. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> oh, that's funny. oh man, I think we're getting way off track right, here. We are. Ah, <laughs> uh, it kind of bled over the edge there a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish up this little pot spot this right work. here, 
and uh, then we're gonna shut the camera off I'm gonna go grab those little markers that I was telling you about and I'll show you how I would clean up that one it's not dry yet though is it no I won't do it but I'll show you that how easy it is well, I'll do his little nose real quick his nose oh geez I almost did his eye no, and I gotta nose. do that eye yeah but that's white. white yeah I know his nose okay I'm kind of going. I I like. Huh? I am. I I like to go from the left to the right since I'm right-handed. You turned it around. But I turned it around and I'm kind of messing myself up. All right. Is that good? That's cute. All right. Okay. So we'll be right back and I'll show you that marker. Okay, guys. So here's those markers I was talking about, and You've I've got a glare. Lift it up. I, I've there used these before, and uh, one one side is kind of blunt, and the other side comes to a really fine point. Let me show you. Where did you get those? Um, honestly, I think Dad bought them online. So there, you know, you've got the picture now. So this is what that point looks like. I don't know. Maybe that would help. There we go. Help kind of show it. But it's a flexible. So okay. when when it marks on, when it marks, it uh, it really does a fine job. So what I'll do is I'll wait till that dries. Where, so where's your pen? I'll wait till this dries and then I will just go over that and it cleans that line right up. It just puts black right over the top of that gray and it will blend right in just like it never came over the edge. So these things are really cool for that. I've started to do that more and more. So these things are uh, Tombow ABT acid free pens. So that's what the one looks like. I'm on you. <laughs> so the one end looks like this. I'm going to put it against my shirt. And then the other hand looks like that. I'm all over the place. You are. It's not a Sorry. All right. And the other hand is... Okay. Okay. So these things are really cool. They're really handy for that. So that is about it, boys and girls. I'm going to finish this up off camera. Huh? I'm going to finish this up off camera. You kind of saw where it, uh, how I did that. And I'm going to... Um, paint the rest of it and then I got to get this thing shipped out somebody back east anyway um, so coming up is a clip on uh, the ballistic barbecue I was super happy with that what no sign carvers of the day no I didn't bring any sign carvers of the day. <laughs> okay we'll do that next time oh yeah forgot crazy around here sorry about that we'll make up for it on Wednesday we'll do four sign carvers of the day and two stories on Wednesday. Okay, sorry guys. Anyway, thank, I guess I'm sign carver of the day today. You don't count. And you're right, I don't. All right, so uh, anyway, enjoy this, uh, this video on the Ballistic Barbecue and go check out Greg's channel. It's awesome. He does some great, great stuff. So thanks again and we will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a great week, guys. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, this is going to be just a short video. I want to share with you my latest collaboration and, and uh, what I decided to do. I contacted Greg with uh, Ballistic Barbecue. He's over in Southern California, he has a fantastic barbecue channel. Every time I watch it, it just makes me hungry. Anyway, he does really, really good videos and a uh, great barbecue expert. Uh, so he sent me, he said, he took me up on my offer, sent me his logo, and this is his logo. And he said, just, uh, you know, kind of do whatever colors, whatever you want to do with it. Um, and he also wanted the YouTube and the subscribe buttons in there, like I've done on many, uh, many of my collaborations. So being round, it kind of, I had to think about it for a couple weeks, how I wanted to do it. But this is what I came up with. Hopefully this won't fall apart on me as I bring it up. So this is how the whole thing, I'm going to stand up here. Uh, this is how the whole thing came about or came out. So I, I uh, this is the first time I've done anything on one of these rounds. This is one of these rounds from uh, Lowe's. Uh, I think it's 18 inches. And I wanted something where it had some color on it. Um, and I actually, this black line that you see here is actually Milliput. Um, so I put that in there first and then I did my layout and then I wanted to add I, I kind of looked around and I found kind of some rings of fire kind of thing on the internet on uh, 
Google and uh, so I just kind of drew the fire and the the color now on the inside and the, all the yellow and red are just sharpies they're just permanent markers um, but I wanted to do it uh, on the round uh, so I could do this uh, so I did a kind of a two-part thing kind of did a two-parter and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I'm really happy with the way it came out. So I'm hoping that uh, that Greg likes it and uh, shows it on his channel. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to kind of uh, share it with you guys. And uh, so I'm still doing the collaborations. It's working out really well. Um, but I really had fun with this one. Again, I, I had to even think about it for a couple weeks before I really figured out how to do it all in one piece or the circle on a rectangle or a square. But this is kind of what I came up with. So hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. And by the time you see this, um, I filmed this ahead of time. I need to ship this today. By the time you see this, Hopefully it will have already made it onto his channel. I don't like to do it before. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot. Hope you like it, and we'll see you later. Bye.